Nims, what's good, man? I came out here, you know what I'm saying, to your hood. What's good with you, man? Live from Coney Island. Welcome to Coney Island. Gorilla Nims. Everything's good, man. Hey, what's Everything's up, man? Great. Picking hey. up. So, so, so basically, man, for the people, man, like, let them know, like, what it's been like for you, man, like, out here. The struggle, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how you how you got from that position to the position you're in now? Just never gave up. Yeah. Just never, like, like, everything that's happening now, like, the wheels that are turning is from years of hard work. But it's also, like, I knew all of this was going to happen. This shit is not a surprise. Um, a lot of people I see, like, you know, the way people act towards me and stuff like that. This may, it might be a surprise to them, but it ain't a surprise to me because I know this is what's been the goal my whole life, and this is just the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, so like, how long you been rapping, and, like, how did that all start for you? I've been rapping probably, like, almost 20 years. You know what I'm saying? And it just started off just... I always was rapping, freestyling since I'm a kid, but I started writing raps. I don't know. Just, like taking it like serious and um I just never stopped no matter what was going on in my life whether I was fucked up or whether I was doing great I just kept the dream going to stay consistent and never stopped that's the only thing that separates me from anybody else is just that I never stopped I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of people out here in New York man that's like trying to make it that's making music like how, how did you, how were you able to stand tall, man, in, in, a, in a city like this, man? You stay, a lot of people don't know who they are as an artist. I just stay true to what I do. Like, um... I was doing man like I, like I never switched up like in in 2000 early the late 2005 6 7 when when everything was down on Atlanta and trap music and snap music and artists was switching up and doing that type of music I stayed doing the same type of music I always been doing and it just so happens now the focus is back on that real shit with the with bars and and that type of music and the people know. The people know what's what. The people know that I've been doing it, like, and I never switched up. Like, a lot of artists switched up back then. Now trying to come back to this. I don't respect them, and I don't, that's why I don't, you don't see me on a lot of tracks with different artists, man. I fuck with who I fuck with. That's it. Speaking of that, man, like, a lot of artists did change up when the, when the trend went to the South. It's like New York, I, I, I ain't going to say New York fell off, but New York definitely took a turn you know what i'm saying yeah, they started riding other people's ways when originally we was the ones that was creating it but i just stay true to myself man i really don't pay attention to what other people do because i just stay on the course with my blinders on you know what i'm saying and uh over here fuck your life we don't ride waves we create them you heard so like as far as your music now man like when did you really like like start recording and when did it get recognized like like it, it got recognized from early, the early 2000s when I was battling doing the Fight Club shit. When I was, when I was, I always knew that that was a quicker vehicle to get my name known than just networking. I'm not a good networker. I don't like talking to people that I don't know. I don't like being fake and starting conversations. Like I stay to myself. I let the work speak for itself. So the battling, it it it, it moved my name into conversations where I didn't have to speak. When I walked into the room, people would know who I was from the battle situations. But I never really was a battle rapper. So I just was doing it and I kept winning and I was good at it and it got my name known. And then, uh, but I was always doing music from back then, from the early 2000s, getting my shit up. So I already had had uh, development deals with Shady, with, with, uh, with, with, with Def Jam when I was 17. Like I've been, you know, in the, in the Inside the, the rooms and the offices is just I took the slower pace because I wouldn't deal I wouldn't take nobody else's shit I do it I do it how I want if it's not how I want then it ain't gonna get done. Nah, you right about that, man. So um, I was I was checking out your page, man, and I know at one point of your time, man, you you was you had a struggle. You was you was like yeah yeah I was out here in Coney Island. I was fucked up, man. I was homeless. I was addicted to mad all types of drugs, and uh, I had given up on rap. Like it was, it was like, it was, rap was like, forget it. You know what I'm saying? I tried my dreams, I failed. Um, and I just had given up. But then I had like a moment of clarity where I just was like, yo man, 
I could keep on how I'm going and I'm gonna fucking die. Or I could wake up and live my fucking dreams. And um, I fucking woke up and lived my dreams. I never touched nothing since then. I don't smoke weed, I don't fucking drink. I don't do nothing, like not, not, I don't, when I say I don't do it, I don't do it. Like I don't, not even like a sip. I don't even have a smoke of weed in over 12 years. I just smoke these fucking cigars. That's it. Um, but that's why they call me the mayor out here, because everybody out here seen me at my lowest. And they seen my, me big myself up from that. You know what I'm saying? They seen me at my lowest, and they seen me bring myself up out of that. And, uh, yeah. and that's why they fuck with me, everybody. A lot of rappers be talking about, like, being in a hood, man. Like, and you really out here, man. Like, you still out here moving merch, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though you're on the big screen now, Doing your thing, you out here moving merch, man. That's the legal hustle now. I mean, I I, I I hustled for a while. I wasn't like, I wasn't Scarface. You know, I did what I had to do to get money. Um, but I just switched that into the legal aspect of it and shit that'll further my goals and my dreams. Like, after a while, people glorify hustling and all of that. Like, but at the end of the day, man, it's very stressful. I started getting mad paranoid. Like, yo, either the cops are gonna run up on me at any second or. People gonna try to rob me and I'm gonna have to do something that I might not want to. I started getting paranoid. I was like, I got I can't be living like this. Yeah. It's it's wearing on my mental. So I was like, yo, how can I switch it up legally? And gotcha. uh, I started fucking flipping the hats and that shit just took off. You know what I'm saying? So so um as far as music, man, like back to the music real quick, like what what artists inspire you, man? Like you from you from I'm from New you York. from Brooklyn, so New York, uh uh Biggie, Big Pun, Big L, um, Mob Deep, like Wu Chang. Those are all. I'm from like when I came up, it was the golden era, man. So all of that inspired me. I took something from all these people: Cameron, Sticky Fingers from Onyx, the whole Onyx. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like those type of that type of music. I stayed like really East Coast. I listened to everything, but the ones that really influenced me were like the main, those main artists: Big Pun, Fat Joe. Okay. What's up, man? So I take it that's some of the people you would like to work with? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm more interested in working with the legends. Even if they, like, are not as popping as they once was, I still... that That's what that's what makes my day, the respect from the legends, man. I don't care about the new rappers. I don't really care about doing songs with them. I don't care about taking pictures with them. I don't care really about even associating with them. Um, there's... there's there's mad quicker ways I can get to my goal that I'm not willing to do. Like I could, I could easily get features from X, Y, Z and and fucking promote it all day, but that's not me. I don't want to do that. I'd rather make it on my own. It might take a little longer, but that's the way I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see you finally hit that BET level, man. Yeah, fact. How was that, man? How was it like? You know, saying seeing yourself for the first time. On, uh, on the, when I was doing the battle shit, I was on MTV every okay, night. Okay. But the BET shit, that shit, it's a blessing. And, yeah. and, and it's you no know, all it is is really um validation. Okay. Even though whether I'm validated or not, I'm gonna keep living my dreams and keep going, but to see myself on BET every fucking weekend, to, to get the accolades from 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 legends in the game, man, that that just gives me validation, like yo, I'm on the right path, going how I'm going. All right, and if, and if somebody never heard your music, right? Yep. What song of all songs that you got that you would say they must hear? Uh, I would say you know the fucking vibes. Okay. Or Bing Bong, Bing Bong is the new shit. You know okay. What I'm and um, yeah, you can start there. And what just, can they expect? Just bars, aggression, just, bars. just okay. uh, smart wordplay, banging beats. You yeah. know what I'm saying aggressive rap, but there's also if you if you dive deeper and listen to my albums, there's there's all types of music. Okay. And going from a battle rapper to like a, a actual rapper, man, a lot of rappers can't make that transition. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So how was it for you? I guess because you say you wasn't really a battle rapper. Yeah. So you so you just jumped into that arena just because you could? Just to get my name known. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and get my name out there quicker than just y'all names I rap. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. It, it was easier for me. And, and my first raps that I wrote was geared towards somebody else that I would... And when I was in high school, I watched some kid rap the whole year. And he yeah. thought he was nice. And I knew I was better than him, but I never really wrote something. So I just stood the whole year writing, you know, preparing. And at the end of the year, I just battled him and I destroyed his shit. But um, 
So my first rhyme was geared towards battle rap anyway, you know what I'm saying? So that's my style, aggressive, witty, funny, wordplay. So it was like, all right, bing bong, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a natural progression. Just let me just battle with these song, with these bars that I wrote for a song. It just worked. Would you ever step back in that arena? Uh, I wouldn't say never, but it would have to be a heavy, heavy payday. Like, so they just, um, one of the leagues just hit me maybe two weeks ago. Like, yo, okay. we want to have you battle. I said, yo, listen, I don't want to do it. So for me to do it, y'all going to have to come with a lot of money. The bag got to be right. They ain't even hit me back. They ain't even hit me back. <laughs> I got you. They thought maybe I was going to get it for a discount or something. Nah, I'm not. I've been, I've been working too hard to distance myself from that to just jump back into it. I got you. So right here where we at right now, like, this your hood right here? Like, are you just, this where you at now? We on Mermaid Avenue in Coney Island. I'm from down the way. I'm from West 33rd Street. We on West 16th Street West right 16. now, but this is where my old squad be at. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm good on every single block okay. out here. Like, there's three avenues. There's Neptune, Mermaid, and Surf, and there's 21 blocks. Going on every single block, so like we, well, how I'm posted up here, we can go on any block in this hood and post up like that. That was you know up, what man. Saying? That was up. Mayor, for real, I don't just claim that. Like anybody can come and take a walk with me through the hood one day, anytime. You know what I'm saying? So I like to ask this question, man. Like, what's your definition of street fame? But I guess you already gave me your definition. Yeah, being being good wherever you go. Yeah. Wherever you see me, most of the time when you see me, I'm dolo. Like wherever, throughout the whole New York City. Yeah. Like yesterday, I had a show in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. I was dolo, you know what I'm saying? I, I, walked, I went <laughs> to crazy. fucking Madison Square Garden fucking after that to go see the UFC fight. I okay. went dolo, you know what I'm saying? I moved through this whole city with my chains on, with my Rolex on, wherever wherever I go. And most of the time I be dolo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if, if my people's ain't, like if I, I might come by the block, yo, we going to the show, they might be doing something though. They be like, yo, give me an hour. You know, I'm not trying to wait, I'm out, you know what I'm saying? I'm good by myself wherever I go. That's what's That's up, man. That's the definition of street fan. That's what's up, man. How can they find you, man? Instagram, NEMS underscore, NEMS underscore FYL, or just cop some merch, FYL.NYC. That's what's up, man. And that merch you told me you got them caps, you got the hoodies, what else you got, man? We got hoodies, we got fucking socks, we got fucking ski masks, we got everything. Whatever your heart desires, we got at FYL.NYC. Bing bong. All right, man. Y'all heard that from the man himself, man. Nims, man.